I do enjoy this job. I get to travel a lot. And, uh, I've, I, you know, I, find I just did a, a, a cruise to Turkey. I got these shoes in Turkey, as a matter of fact. I got these shoes outside of a mosque. And, uh, yeah. All kinds of shoes lying around. I think it's an exchange program. I don't know, but I hope they like my flip-flops. So. But this job is a little crazy uh, monetarily. I'm not good with money. Some of you people might be good with money. I am not. Uh, four years ago, I invested pretty much every penny I have in, uh, in, in gluten. And uh, yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. And now I'm getting those threatening collection letters. Anybody get these letters in the mail? We have not received your final payment. And I, I wrote them back and I said, yes, you have. You know, and <laughs> you were just not aware. Oh, yeah. uh, I got one the other day. I said, this is our final notice. I went, all right. <laughs> How about the one that, sometimes you get a good one. They said, your, your, your bill is outstanding. I went, beautiful, okay, good, good. I was kind of proud of that one. Oh. Uh, I robbed a bank last year. Uh, now, this is kind of a secret, pull in. I did it, I did it from a drive-up window. And I was serious about it, I rented a gun, and I'm in the line. And I wrote a note, I said, have a gun, give me all of your money. And finally it was my turn, that vacuum thing came down. You know? <laughs> I put the note and the gun in the vacuum, you know? <laughs> a few minutes later it came back, <laughs> two guns and a different note. It said, we have an armed guard in here. I went, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Not expecting gunplay, so. And I'm bad with money, I'm a gambler, I'm a rambler, I'm a long way from home, but I, uh, <laughs> wow, more than I expected. Okay, good. And we have so many casinos opening now. All the casinos, I don't care where you go in the world, casinos, they put up these facetious signs, like they're worried about your well-being. Have you seen these signs? Bet with your head, not over it. So I'm, I'm pushing my chips in with my head. And... No, have you seen these signs? If you have a gambling problem, who else would be in the room, all right? If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. So I called them up. I said, look at it. I have an ace and a six, and the dealer has a seven. And uh, he is not waiting all night. Uh, Recently, I did three weeks in England, you know, and the people in the States, we think the English, many times, we think they're very haughty in their attitudes. And sometimes it's well-deserved because when I was there, they had the ladies of the evening, the, the uh, street walkers, the, the hookers. The hookers is the word I'm looking for. And they were giving out business cards, embossed business cards in gold and silver, like it was a legitimate job, you know? And I took one from this girl that said, Naughty Nora, for your pleasure. And I took it on, I only took it because I needed a, a bookmark. And uh, <laughs> I took it back to my hotel room. And I'm there for a couple of weeks, and one night, a few too many cocktails in me, and I look at Naughty Nora for your pleasure. So I said, I'm gonna give this gal a call. So I, I called up. I got this incredibly sexy voiced woman on the phone. She goes, can I help you? I said, I, I think you can. You know? <laughs> I said, I'm in room 1057. I'd like you to come to my room. When you come to my room, dressed as a nurse, and I'd like to take off all your clothes, and then I'd like to whack you on the bum with some celery. And, uh, and she said, well, that sounds quite interesting, but you have to dial a nine to get an outside number. And, uh, So I checked out of there, and now I'm gonna check out of here. Thank you, see you guys later. Thank you.